Hi you guys, this is Seeger coming to you from my channel, Sophisticated and Enlightened. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day, a great evening, a great night whenever you're watching this video. And this is my empties. I'm just going to go through these really quick, tell you if I like them or not, and throw them away because my bag is overflowing. So this is Oil of Life Sensitive Skin Body Wash. I got this from the Dollar Tree. No go. I did not like it. It did not lather the way I like my body washes to lather. Um, I just didn't like it. Will not repurchase. I, oh, I still have a little bit in there. This is from the Dollar Tree as well, Coconut Shea Butter. And it is a body wash. And I use this. I bought this and I bought a Tropical Scent. And I really, really like the Tropical Scent better. I have not used, I, this is my first time using this one. And it didn't lather as much as the other one did. I've used the Tropical one like thousands of times, but I just got this one because it was a new scent at my store. So, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but if they have the Tropical, I will just purchase the Tropical scent from now on. Dollar Tree as well, Feminine Wash, a short brand. I really like this. It doesn't irritate my skin. It works just as well as Summer's Eve and the other brands. This is a vitamin. Um, Vita Fusion Gorgeous Hair, Skin, and Nail Vitamins. I did not like these. You had to take three as a serving size. And um, I just, I didn't like them. So I went back to my, na na uh, I think it's Naturals Bounty or Bounty Natural or something. Um, I'll put a picture up on my Instagram, Queen B underscore Mama Dukes. Follow me. Um, but yeah, I will not repurchase these again. I'll stick with my normal hair, skin, and nail vitamins. This is a shaving cream, pure silk, raspberry mist. It wasn't bad. I liked it. I liked the smell. I liked the texture of it. This was um, Bye Bye Pores by. It cosmetics and I didn't get to use all of it because for some reason the top came off and I dropped it on my floor in the bathroom but it was okay I really liked it actually um, it did blur your pores this is um, whatever that says Bath and Body Works we all know what line this is and this is white mocha kiss shower gel I liked it um, no complaints um, I just decided to stop buying shower gels from Bath and Body because I am heavy-handed and these are like 12 to 14 dollars I think and you know that's just too much of my hard-earned money being washed down the drain so I'm not saying that I won't get some occasionally or like when I go on vacay I'll definitely take them but just everyday use unless it's a scent that I just cannot live without but I will get the rest of that out though I'm just gonna stick with drugstore this is L'Oreal shampoo and there's some in here I don't know I put these upside down in the, my bag and then it all comes to the top this was okay I'm not gonna repurchase it I don't feel like it was very moisturizing it didn't do anything special to my hair it was specifically for damaged overworked hair which I have been dyeing my hair coloring my hair lightening my hair um, for years with plus my relaxer and my hair is just damaged so I'm really giving my hair some TLC but anyhow this did not do anything I will not repurchase it and I like L'Oreal but I didn't like that and I had a conditioner too. I may have a little bit in the shower still. This is Dandruff Control Shampoo by Shea Moisture. And this was a sample that I got. And I was going to save it for my daughter. But um, it was just in my little sample box. And I decided to use it. I didn't like the smell. Um, and I really don't have dandruff. But again, like I said, I was just um, using it up. So I really can't give a good review on this. Other than the smell I did not like. But as a shampoo and, and all, it did work good. I think I showed you guys this before. This is a mattifying um, primer that I got out of something. Target Beauty Box or Ipsy. I don't subscribe to Ipsy anymore. but And I really, really liked it. And I said that I was going to uh, purchase it. I look up the information on the internet and purchase it. But I have an e.l.f. 
an elf primer that I think I'm going to try out. And if that works, then I'll stick with that. Of course, a staple. This is my L'Oreal Infallible 112 Cocoa 24 hour foundation. I switched between this and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. But I've been using this lately because the matte and poreless, the toasted coconut usually works for me in the winter. And then the mocha is a little too dark for me, which mocha usually matches. But the mocha, um, the toasted coconut is too light in the summer and the mocha is too dark. So maybe if I mix those two, I don't know. I don't feel like doing all that. L'Oreal um, works with my skin tone. Summer, winter, and fall. Okay, this was just a skin relief lotion from Aveeno. I really like Aveeno. Someone has um, a bottle of Aveeno at my job in our ladies' restroom and I've been using it and I like it. So I think I'm going to pick up a bottle of Aveeno. This was the L'Oreal um, Infallible. I don't know what the difference was. Full coverage. I did not like this at all which I thought I would because I love the original infallible as you've seen but as I showed you earlier but yeah this is a no-go I will not repurchase it Mitchum deodorant shower fresh I switched between Mitchum and degree right now I'm on um, degree hairspray Pantene extra stronghold I liked it good scent held my hair good I just, I'm not like brand loyal to any um, hairsprays. I just use whatever. I have so many samples. I haven't had to buy a bottle in such a long time. Um, petroleum jelly. Good old Vaseline. I'll repurchase that. That's a staple for me. And this is the Duo Lash Glue that, I don't know if you watched my video, um, my favorite eyelash glue. I was using this. It's horrible. I do not like it. It did not stick for me. My eyelashes were always popping up. No go. Will not purchase that again. And this is one half of uh, a lotion. When my lotions get down really low, um, the body creams, I cut them in half. And I think this was sweet marshmallow or something. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any videos, questions, or comments, Leave them down in the comment section below. And until the next video, take care.